Today we're going to be talking about section 4.6, which really has two pieces to it. We're going to be talking about using more than one pair of congruent triangles. So we're going to be using our congruent triangles to then say something. And then um, we're also going to be talking about a new type of proof. So what we have been doing so far is the two column proof. And a two column proof lays out each statement of reason, even obvious steps. Something that I mean by that is reflexive. Key steps, major pieces of a two column proof. Basically not reflexive. Even though reflexive, even though the book directions may say use key steps, I don't want you to use this method. Okay, instead we're going to be using our key steps, which is going to be helpful to write a paragraph proof. Now paragraph proof uses key points to prove a statement. Basically it's going to be using, we're going to write a paragraph using our key steps and our reasons instead of a two column proof. Okay, our first example. We are given that angle one is congruent to angle two, angle three is congruent to angle four, and I need to prove, I'm going to highlight that in a different color, but I need to always keep that in mind that TU is congruent to TV. I'm sorry, TW. So that isn't even in the triangle over here that have our congruent angles. We're going to need to prove the big triangles, VUT congruent to VWT before we can prove, so that we can say CPCTC. Okay, so our key steps, and again, we're not going to use this, but we're going to give the key steps so that we can then write a paragraph proof. Step one. Well, it's obviously our given. We always start off with a given. One congruent to angle two, and angle three congruent to angle four. Second step, we don't need to list reflexive, but I'm gonna mark it for us. SV is congruent to itself. So I know that triangle U, V, S is going to be congruent to triangle W, V, S, and list the reason just so that you're going to be able to do, write it out in your um, proof, and that is by angle, side, angle. So then what do I know? Remember your corresponding parts are going to be equal, so then I know UV is congruent to WV. And then I also know that T, VT, I'm sorry, VT is congruent to itself. So then what I can say is I can say that triangle TWV, this triangle here, is going to be congruent to TUV. So those big triangles. So our next step then is going to be listing the big triangles. T, U, V, congruent to triangle T, W, V, and that's going to be by side, angle, side. And then our fourth step is going to be that TU is congruent to TW. Okay, so writing our paragraph proof. Always start out with what you're given. We are given angle one congruent to angle two and angle three congruent to angle four. So now that we are given that, what did I say? We knew that these smaller triangles were congruent. So 
Give your reason, always give your reason, by angle, side angle. We know that triangle UVS is going to be congruent to triangle WVS. You don't need to see, state the reflexive piece. So now we needed to say those big triangles were equal. I forgot to list a key step. We need to list that by CPCTC. And it's okay if you use abbreviations in your paragraph proof. By CPCTC, UV is going to be congruent to WV. This gives triangle T U V congruent to triangle T W V by this gives what do we have? We had side angle and then the reflexive side VT by side, angle, side. Again, you don't need to list the reflexive. So then, therefore, TU is going to be congruent to TW by CPCTC. Okay, next example. Mark up your diagram again. RT is equal to RV. NT is congruent to VN. I'm trying to prove, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna highlight what I'm trying to prove. Let's highlight. I'm trying to prove TS congruent to VS. Okay, so I keep that in mind always. Now again, that's not in these smaller triangles, but I can use the idea of these smaller triangles being congruent to get the big triangles congruent. Okay, so let's get our proof. We are given, we are given, I'm trying to get two words here in one. We are given that RT is congruent to RV and NT is congruent to NV by the given. So I don't know why I was Okay, so we're given that. Then, we know triangle R, T, N is congruent to triangle R, V, N by side, side, side. So let me highlight real quick those triangles that we have congruent. So I have RVN congruent to RTN. So we have those guys congruent. Well, what do we know with those congruent triangles? We know that angle one is gonna be equal to angle two. So by CPCTC, we know angle one is going to be congruent to angle two. This gives us us triangle RTS congruent to triangle RVS 
by, well, we had RT, so side, angle, angle one and two, and the common side RS. So that's by side, angle, side. Thus, TS is congruent to VS by CPCTC. Okay, there is your lesson question. You guys have, give the appropriate statement a reason. So the first lesson question is, give the reason for number one. For number two, give what should be congruent. And you can just use the equal sign. Same thing for three, four. On number eight, give me the two triangles that are congruent, okay? And please make sure that it's submitted on time.